Hey folks, Tim Miller here. And I got to tell you, as we share information on this channel, it's to help people identify the skills that they're going to need. God forbid if they're targeted by violence or if they find themselves in the middle of a crisis. Let's look at this one from December 2023. As you can see, a person is walking down the street uh, very early in the morning when a car comes by and a thief jumps out. Now, before the person knows it, they are being confronted by an armed person. Well, when you think of it, that's a worst case scenario, but this person is prepared to defend himself. And it's very interesting how there are a series of activities that occur here that show us that this wasn't the first time he planned for an event like that. And what we're going to do is just very briefly talk about the before, the during, and the after the event. And here's what we're going to start with, the before. What are we noticing before the event happens? Well, watch closely. First off, he's on an isolated street by himself, notices a vehicle pass him, but doesn't really pay any attention to the vehicle. And before you know it, an armed person is, is uh, attacking him from the rear, which is our blind spot. So what would be a good before takeaway? Maybe it's not wise to walk at night by yourself um, because in this case, he was surprised. And if the robber had been determined to hurt him, he could have. So before, maybe he doesn't walk the street by himself. And folks, let me just say this for all of us, especially in major cities, it's becoming more and more problematic. So before he's um, ever in the conflict, maybe uh, he gets an Uber. Maybe there are other ways to get there more safely. But let's look at the during the conflict. So now the subject's up on him. He doesn't really notice that the subject's coming up on him until actually the subject touches him. Folks, that's a lose-lose. We talk about this all the time on our channel. Situationally aware uh, people are constantly looking to their left, right, and also periodically glancing. Folks, let me say this. If, if you're on an isolated street late at night and one car passes, it may be a good idea to turn and pay attention because maybe he could have avoided it um, altogether during the attack. But we notice that he does turn and he does the golden rule in a conflict, which is to gain distance. And then he acts, activates his ability to protect himself with a, with a weapon. And he subsequently deals with the attacker that way. So during the event, and I'm going to go much more into this on another platform, but the tactics here um, didn't start well, but they ended very well. And because of that, that man is alive today. So the before if he had avoided it, if he'd uh, perhaps not been in an isolated position, um, there's much more I want to go into in terms of the tactics, which I will break down um, in, in another setting. But um, he's eventually able to turn, respond, put the attacker down, and now uh, he's in a position to live another day. And then let's get to the end. If you notice at the end, so the before, the after, the uh, the during and then after he is prepared. He's got some things in his backpack. Can't really tell exactly what they are. Uh, possibly his phone. The only takeaway I would say in the after always have your phone accessible so that you can dial it immediately. If needed, remember in the midst of a crisis seconds count. So having the ability to access it is huge. So folks, we look at this happening all the time in the U S uh, some States have very, very, um, friendly weapons policies, others, not so much. And it's up to you. Let me say this. If you decide that you're going to train with a weapon. You've got to train with that. I don't care if it's bear spray, pepper spray, a weapon, whatever it is, you need to be prepared and trained to defend yourself, protect yourself and others. Because the defender in this case 
was prepared, had the right training, the right tools, and obviously had the right attitude because he didn't freak out. It would have been easy when someone approaches you from the back in the middle of the night where it's dark that you would begin to go into panic mode. This is what he did not do. And because he did not do that, he came out okay. So I hope this is helpful to you folks. I hope and pray that you stay safe out there. These things are happening more and more common place in uh, in our country. And whole purpose of what I'm trying to do is to help people be prepared to think through. Uh, and again, we will have a more detailed review of this um, on another platform. And so in the meantime, please stay safe out there.